Okay, so this is uh, how to use uh, Cisco Meraki MDM with um, iOS devices. Uh, my last blog post, uh, we set up the Apple push certificate with the MDM. So now we're going to log in and add an app. Now I have two-factor authentication set up. Uh, if you don't have it set up, you won't have to type in this code. It's a time-based code, but I highly recommend getting it set up. So this is the dashboard. This is the wrong dashboard. This is what I want for the devices. You can see here um, we have our system manager network. We have eight clients connected, MDM. And we see our eight devices here and all those that are connected. The one we're going to be working with is the CPS public iPad. So when we click on there, it gives us the details about the iPad uh, charging. Uh, if there are any apps missing? You can see the enforced profiles. And you can see any missing apps. And we don't want that one installed. So if we wanted to add a new app, We go to System Manager here, Apps. Now this will allow you to add apps to uh, different tags. If you want to add a new app under the system, we actually have to go to the Apple VPP program and purchase the app first. So that's what we're going to do. Oh my, how convenient. I have a web browser here all set up with that. Now, Apple does make you use two-factor identification through SMS. So you can see here, it has uh, going to my phone, ending in 33. And I cannot continue until I receive the code. Just got the code. Then it'll ask me, uh, do I want to go into the device enrollment program or the volume purchase plan? And we want the volume purchase plan because we're not enrolling any more uh, devices at this moment. Put in your username and password again. And then to find an app, you simply do a search. So uh, let's look for Opera. Oh, look, there's Firefox. Let's get Firefox. So we hit the little plus sign here. How many of the Firefox apps do we want? It's a free app, so we're going to say 12. 
I'm going to review the order and place that order. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go back to our Meraki dashboard. Um, you'll get an email with the account that's set up with ILS letting you know when the VPP is available for purchase. So we'll just uh, demo that. So you can see here, our purchase is now available. So we go into the Meraki, we add a new app. We change the country to Canada because that's where we are. So what devices do we want to install this on? This is kind of important. So I just want a device with the following tag. I'm going to be taking it off the device pretty much as soon as I put it on. But for the purposes of this demonstration, this will do just fine. And I don't want to back up any data synced with the device. Uh, I want it to attempt to manage unmanaged devices and remove with MDM so I can remove it. And when I assign to the following tag, it will only install onto this tag. Now I can even restrict this even further where it only requires all of the tags. So if I have multiple devices and stuff, uh, I can really restrict what goes on what and how they get put on. And then we need to add it to the home screen because we have a managed home screen. For that, we go into the settings. Change our profile. Home screen layout. Now we have three pages here. We're going to put it here. Add an app, Firefox. And actually, I can even put it down here in the dock. In here, and I think that's what we'll do. So we save our changes. It'll take a minute or two for it to process. We can speed this up by going into clients. We know which one this is and we only have one device so it's really easy to find. And you can see here we have updates pending and two missing apps. Go into the missing apps. We can reinstall Firefox. And we will update the profile. So now we just have to wait. And we can see here's our device, and it's not sinking. And we can send a reboot command to it to make, force it to resync.
power control reboot. We can see here that the device has been rebooted. Then we can find out why our Firefox doesn't want to go on. Uh, here under the VPP, you can see what apps have been deployed. So let's look for Firefox. And I don't see Firefox, which means we need to force sync. There it is, Firefox. We have 12 licenses, but it is not deployed to any device. Oh, there was one little thing I had missed. It goes back into the uh, settings. We added the app, but I have a security policy on these to only allow allowed apps. So we go into settings, public, restrictions, and see I have a restriction of only allowing whitelisted apps, which is why Firefox would not show up. We'll do a resync. And you can see now, just as one app is missing. So let's update that profile. And then We're just pending. We have lots of pending going on. There we go. So we're just going to cut. So 
up here in the right hand corner you can see that it's syncing Firefox is loading there it is and we can easily remove the app as well by removing the tag here let's find Firefox or actually I just want to show before we go ahead and do that under VPP here uh, we should see Firefox is deployed to one device and we have a subtraction in our number of units we have available from our purchases. So you can see 12 we purchased, we have 11 available, one in use. So let's find Firefox here. and I can tell it to disable. Let's look at changes. And then it'll automatically sync and update within a few minutes or we can force that change. Depending on how patient you are. And just for good house clean up here. I'm actually going to remove it from the settings. Restrictions. Yeah, you can see Firefox has been removed here. Oh, this is sir, this is the wrong profile. it save and now because we were patient we can see that Firefox has been removed from the profile and is no longer on the iOS device just doing some housekeeping but if you had kept everything in place if you decided to redeploy it it would redeploy to where you left it and that's it for this tutorial thank you very much